Welcome to A Day in the Life of Carmen Scoggins. So my alarm goes off at 5.30, but I lie in bed until about 6, and this is what I look like when I get up. What I don't understand is why can I get up and look like this? Why is it so much effort? Well, the first thing I do is feed my 19-year-old cat, Maya, breakfast in bed. Then, of course, I'm running late to school, but I get there almost when the kids are coming in. But look, everything is so nice and clean, and everything's laid out for the day. And then at 8.30, my students come. And we have a great time together doing activities in the classroom. Sometimes we hang out in the hall. We're all over the building. It's kind of cool. And then I take a minute to reflect. So what's up? So this is my first video for Flank. Um, it's Friday. It currently is 11.20 and I'm in my planning time. And um, really fast, you can see some of my classroom. This five C's into proficiency scales. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, I am obsessed with sunflowers, so I have sunflowers that students have made for me all over the place. This is one of the ways I put good into my day. It reminds me um, that there were some kids out there who once loved me. <laughs> um, I love technology, so I have an app wall. Um, I have a lot of technology, and that makes my day good as well. Um, and then, of course, over here, sorry, you're probably getting sick. Over here is the path to proficiency. Um, is it backwards so it's your path to proficiency it looks backwards so these are all things that help me stay connected to what I know that students should know be able to do understand and then turn back around and use for their own purposes or the good of someone else so happy Friday and it is September 9th so it's finally my planning time but instead of actually planning guess what I do I get on Snapchat and I take some pictures. This is the face I'm gonna make if another kid throws a water bottle upside down. <laughs> but I also need to show them my lovely side and my happy side because I want them to know that I can hang with the best of them and be just as goofy as they can be. But this is what I look like most of the time, a deer in headlights because I'm so behind. Okay, Carmen, put the Snapchat down. You need to plan, you need to work. Just one more. Okay, well, maybe one more. Now I decide I'm hungry, so I've got to go to the vending machine. Hey, I'm back. So it's me again. It's still the same day, Friday. <laughs> um, you know who I feel like? I feel like that awesome principal, Jerry Brooks, who makes all those videos. Um, but just talking about some of the things I do to put good in for myself. Um, sometimes I just walk around my beautiful building and get out of my room for a few minutes and um, stroll around and just look into other teachers' classrooms and see what's going on and hearing the students all excited. And that makes me happy. So here's a little bit of my school. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Let's go this way. <laughs> Somebody's gonna think I'm crazy. But they're right. So, put good in, get good out. So does this like I'm putting good in? No, but some days I let myself have these kinds of snacks. If I'm really bad, this is what I want. But most of the time I remember I need to be good to my body and I eat my almonds for the millionth time. And then planning is over and I haven't gotten anything done and the kids come and we spend some more time together in the afternoons. And then I look back over at my desk, where my clean desk from the morning and look at it. It's a disaster. But oh well, guess what? I don't have time to deal with it because I have to go and run to ASU. But I love doing that because I get to spend my time with future language educators and I couldn't think of a better job. Finally, I get to go home and who's waiting for me but Maya. That's right. It's time for me to do something for myself. So here it comes. I put good in, maybe a little too much good in sometimes. But then I think, what, what time is it? It's eight o'clock. I have an actual conference call. But the beautiful thing is that I can drink my wine while being on the conference call. Then I go to Canvas and I do some grading and decide it's finally time to go to bed and I wanna read my book. But that kinda of looks like it's out for the night. When I go to bed, I feel like I'm about 100 years old, but I lie and reflect again. And I think, 
You know, there are many ways to put good into your life. And maybe one day I'll finally get to Bora Bora. Maybe one day. But for now, I'm going to get up every day doing what I love, living where I get to live. Because after all, isn't this why we get up and go to work every day? Don't forget, put good in, get good out. <laughs>